show me what evidence you have to. Are either of those two people here? No. Um, so this, what evidence do you have of this that? This is of Jeremy Smith and Rachel saying, you ran and Jeremy was like, you were screaming help, but ain't no help in L.A., baby. I'm more interested in what happened at the car. She's got a whole different story than you do. You know what her story is? She's saying that I attacked her at her car, but that's Right. Not. That's what she's saying. She's saying, I'm sitting in the car. And she came running downstairs and through the door punched me in the face. That's what she says. Mm -hmm. And she's pregnant. At the time, Jeremy was telling me she was not pregnant. Jeremy was telling me that she was his homeboy friend, Jeremy, which goes by the name of Spider Girlfriend. That's what he was telling me at the time. Listen. He was saying that she was not pregnant because he was too busy trying to keep his family. That's what he was saying. He's a beauty. <laughs> He's a beauty. People should be clawing over each other to get to him. <laughs> you want to tell me your version of what happened in the car? Yes. So, so she's running down the stairs with her camera, trying to videotape him, screaming, having left her two little babies upstairs in their apartment all by themselves. Yes. While she's downstairs a floor away. So anybody could have started a fire, anybody could have done anything, because she couldn't control her temper. Yes. That's so, a... You don't have to agree with me. Okay. I don't <laughs> need, you know, verification from you. Not too smart. You're not too smart. <laughs> Because if you're too smart, you wouldn't be pregnant with his child. That's if you had a brain. I mean, don't you know three strikes you're out? He already has children with two other women that he's not taking care of, that he's not loyal to, that he's not faithful to. What in the world makes you think you're different? What in the world makes you think you're different? You're not different. He supports the other two because they take it out of his check. Right. I guarantee you, if I ask the lady who has his oldest child whether he gives her $200 every time he sees her, she was going to say, what? Exactly. <laughs> what makes you think you're different? So that's why I say, you're not too smart. Okay. You want to tell me what happened in the car? Yes. Understanding that I like what fills in my comfort zone, which right. is true. Right. Because her story, I don't believe at all. I believe that you ultimately got out of the car and had a fight, and she got bloody. But she started it. Yes. Because she was hot and furious. Because that's the only reason why a mother would leave her two little tiny children alone in their apartment at 9 o'clock at night. If you were hot and furious. And that's the way you went downstairs, hot and furious. Okay. You're on. So, Your Honor, she's lying about not knowing... Don't tell me what she's lying about. Okay. I just I'll let you... want you to tell me what happened in the car. Okay. He went to drop the car seat off. He was upstairs. I was downstairs texting on my phone. The window was down. I see him coming on his side of the door. As he's opening the door, that's when she yells out and attacks me in my head. And I have pictures here like of that. the lump on my forehead when she attacked me. And then you got out of the car. Yes, because I was trying and to protect my. Oh, I was yeah. trying to protect myself. She knew that I was pregnant. She. I have text messages here from her saying that she knew I was pregnant like and that. also saying that if she sees me, then I won't be pregnant anymore. She was trying to terminate my pregnancy. Well, let me ask you this question. You got these text messages before or after this incident? This was before the incident. Then what'd you go there for? They were not to me, they were to him. She was but telling that he, him... Just a, just a second. That he never showed you? Listen to me very carefully. You're not gonna come out a winner either way. So is what you're telling me, he never showed you these text messages where she threatened to hurt you and cause you to lose your baby until after this incident of September 16th? No. He had shown me the text messages before, but he would always park a little down the street. Listen to me. Then if he didn't show you the text messages, then he's a really bad man. If he did show you the text messages that she was going to hurt you and try to terminate your pregnancy, then you're even more of an idiot than I thought you were. <laughs> to go there. He lives 10 minutes away. Drop me off. I don't want to be confronted with somebody who has threatened to harm me instead of going there and sitting on your phone. 